Okay, hello everyone, welcome back. We're going to extend our series on Microsoft Word. There are a bunch of things we want to talk about today. I've got a sample document right in front of us. There are three basic things that we want to talk about. So the very first thing is paragraph alignment that we are looking into. Uh, notice there's always a tab, the home tab, and there you have an option in paragraphs, and there you could set up these different alignment types. So there's a line left, there's center text, there's a line right, and then there's justify. So this is text alignment. Now I could choose any of these and none of it is actually, uh, yeah, so only this specific paragraph has gone on to be aligned as a justify, right? So this is justify alignment. But if I want the entire document, I would do control A or command A and then select the entire uh, doc. After selecting the entire document, select the justify option. So this is going to uh, justify the alignment, which literally is represented here as well, right? And you can see that the entire document is aligned, justified. It's equal on both sides. Now, there is an align right, which is something we do not really use much. There is center alignment. This is mostly used when we bring in some captions or we bring in some um, small text that we want to put underneath the images or tables. So you might want to have something center aligned in that respect or maybe in the title page, right? So you might want to use center alignment there. And quite often we use align left. This is also something there by default, but mostly we would be looking for justify alignment depending on our requirement. The second idea that we want to look into, and it's still right here in the home tab in paragraph uh, section where you could set up line spacing. This is the spacing between the lines, right? So if I choose 1.5, I would see my lines to be spread out. And this is uh, often something that we uh, that makes your article or your document readable. OK, so it enhances readability. There's there's line spacing right there. You could set it at as uh, set it up as two. So you could choose uh, something based on your uh, requirement. But one of the things that I want your attention on is that often we want to handle the spaces after the paragraphs, right? And for that, you also have these two options, add space before paragraph or after paragraph. And this then naturally, just as it says, adds a space after the paragraph, right? So we might want to set up these different things based on our requirements, but the entire purpose is to enhance the readability of the document, okay? The last idea that we want to talk about is the bullet points, right? And after selecting your uh, paragraphs or after selecting your different ideas that you want to make bullets on, you could basically choose bullets from right here. And you could choose different types of bullets, right? So you could see I have these uh, filled circular bullets. I could obviously choose hollow bullets and not just bullets. I could extend this to uh, numbers, right? So I could have different numbers and I could even define a new number format. So I might want to have uh, a different format. This could also be set up as A, B, and C. So there are different ways to set up bullets and numberings. Again, the idea is when you have a list, you could enumerate the list or you could set it up in different bullet points. Again, this helps when we are basically articulating our thoughts and documents and then putting up certain bullets. The entire goal of this is to enhance the readability of our document. I hope this makes sense. If there are any questions, feel free to comment.